10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. We have liftoff. SC2, please prepare for section 35, OSC, FC1, LVN. T plus 30 seconds, Starship 10 has lift off. It's headed to 10 kilometers on its test flight from Boca Chica in Cameron County, Texas. Coming up on T plus two minutes, we're getting ready to transition from three engines to two engines firing on Starship. We'll be shutting one engine off, that's intentional. T plus three minutes and counting. Starship coming up on eight kilometers altitude. We're getting ready to shut down the second engine. This is intentional. I'm clear. Oh, very nice, very nice. Okay, now to switch over to the header tank for the one engine. Okay, I'm going to come back up when we hit 10 kilometers, right about in three seconds. Coming up on T plus four minutes, we're at 10 kilometers. We've gone into the hover. We're still being powered by the single Raptor engine. T plus four minutes and 40 seconds. Starship has transitioned. It's flipped to the horizontal mode. 
beginning the descent back to the landing zone. Coming up on five minutes, 45 seconds. We're down below two kilometers. We're preparing to light three Raptor engines to begin the flip sequence. It'll culminate with landing on the landing pad in Boca Chica. Third time's a charm, as the saying goes. We've had a successful soft touchdown on the landing pad. That's capping a beautiful test flight of Starship 10. As a reminder, the key point of today's test flight was to gather the data on controlling the vehicle while re-entering, and we were successful in doing so. We had a nominal ascent. We had the maneuver to place Starship horizontal when we reached 10 kilometers right on time. And then during the subsonic entry, it